This demo brings to light some of the technologies that Intel has been working on to harness the compute that's all around us in a seamless way. It puts us one step closer to making tons of compute power available to every person on Earth. Let's use the example of Hitman 3, a AAA title from IO Interactive running on a thin and light laptop. Although this PC is not designed for gaming, the game is quite playable thanks to generational advancements of Intel integrated graphics. Now I know I will have an even better experience when I play this on my powerful gaming PC. It'd be great if I could tap into the additional performance when I'm traveling or otherwise away from my desktop. And we'll get to that in a second. But before I walk Agent 47 into the party here, let me save my progress and exit the game. As you can tell by looking at the task manager, the laptop system components were pushed to the full limits. I've got this powerful gaming rig with a discrete GPU and it's just sitting idle. Wouldn't it be great if I could harness that additional compute horsepower on my thin and light laptop? This is precisely what Intel's infrastructure layer delivers. It senses additional compute resources available within the network and intelligently allocates it to me, delivering the best user experience possible. Now I'm going to run the game again from the exact same laptop as before. As you can see, the way that I launched the game has not changed at all, and the game itself does not need any modification. Loading the game is no different from before. It's seamless and transparent. As the game launches, at runtime, the infrastructure layer determines that a better experience is possible using ambient computing resources from my gaming rig. Also note that I'm picking up exactly where I left off from my prior session, even though the game is now running on my gaming machine. This is made possible by system resource abstraction. In this case, file system as a system resource is being abstracted and delivered over the network. The game is now running on a more powerful machine, but it's seamless to me. This is the decoupling of user experience from infrastructure. There were no hoops to jump through, no complicated consideration, no creating multiple accounts on streaming services, and no worrying about persistence of game saves and settings. Here's a look at the task manager. As you can see, the resources on my laptop were not used at all. Yet my experience was much better on the second session. When comparing side by side, it's clear to see the differences. On the left was the first session running on the laptop at low settings and low resolution. On the right is my second session of the game, still from my laptop, but this time it ran off my gaming PC that was made available on the network at a higher resolution and full HD settings. Take a look at this still image, and you can clearly see the more detailed textures on the floor, tree bark, and branches. This is what we mean by taking an incremental approach. We begin with removing friction from today's unmodified workloads. Over time, we will incrementally build workloads that can exploit the flexibility of infrastructure layer.